The virtual reality industry has been around for decades um, and it's only really in the last couple of years, five years, that it's gained sort of a bit more of a consumer attraction and gained some momentum. And within that whole market, there's so many different types of technology and ways of what fits under the virtual reality umbrella. Starting at sort of the sort of the core areas, 360 video. 360 video is basically a camera that has multiple lenses built in with it that's capturing the whole room, the whole environment using film. It's digital, it's a digital approach, and it can be used in many different ways. Virtual reality is kind of taking a step up and it's actually using computer generated imagery or CGI. Um, and you can build any type of environment and it's basically using the software on your PC or computer to be able to create these environments. So it's very flexible and scalable. Then you also have augmented reality. Augmented reality is a way, is you also using computer generated imagery um, or digital assets, but then they overlay it on top of the real world and to view it um, correctly is to either use a mobile device or a handheld device that you can look through that screen and then it will place that digital CGI assets on top of the physical world. Uh, so in a nutshell, they're the sort of three areas. So will VR become mainstream? Well, the answer to that's actually not obvious. Um, there's a lot of hype around the technology, the industry is quite infatuated with, with VR, fair enough, it's a great technology. But actually what's often forgotten is the consumer perspective. And to understand more about the consumer perspective, we uh, did a study with the BBC where we uh, gave people, 18 people, uh, virtual reality headsets. I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, look, I can go down. Oh my gosh, I've got an arm. Oh, I've got legs. They're really skinny. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun. They had never uh, experienced virtual reality before. And what we did, we did an ethnographic study for 12 weeks where we followed their, their journey and adoption and experiences. So what we found was quite interesting. There's quite distinct drivers and barriers to uh, what makes consumers actually like or not like VR. So some of the things, some of the barriers which came up was the user experience, People found it quite clunky, it's quite hard to find content that they wanted. The content itself, there's not enough great content out there. People got bored very easily. And also from a hardware perspective, the hardware it tends to overheat. People don't like being isolated. Some people find it expensive. Um, so there's quite distinct uh, barriers there. Mm -hmm.